You've all seen me experiment with my hair when it comes to color and different hairstyles, but until recently, I rarely ever wore my hair in its natural texture, which is what you see here. I've spent about a month and a half now tweaking my wavy hair routine, and in this video, I wanna share what's been working for me in case you have a similar hair type to mine, which I consider 2C waves, sometimes 3A curls, depending on the day. We'll get into all that, but first, if you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda, welcome to my channel, where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. So before we get into the styling products I've been using, I wanna talk about a really easy trick that makes a big difference in keeping my waves frizz free and keeping them looking great in the morning after sleeping on them so that all my hard work doesn't go to waste. Switching to silk pillowcases, hair wraps, and scrunchies. Because it doesn't cause any friction with your hair, silk is great for avoiding frizz and breakage, plus it helps your hair retain more moisture. And if you're a side sleeper, silk pillowcases are also great for the skin for the same reasons, plus helping prevent wrinkles. So shout out to today's sponsor, Lily Silk, which is a brand that sells a ton of different quality silk products like pillowcases, bedding, pajamas, etc. I actually heard about them for the first time on Dr. Dre's channel. She's a super popular dermatologist here on YouTube who recommended their pillowcases for the anti-aging benefits. So I have been using their pillowcases, which are $20 and made of 100% mulberry silk, which is eco-friendly and non-toxic. They're super comfortable and smooth and honestly just make our bedding feel more luxurious. I've really been able to cut down on bad hair days and bedhead by switching to these. Now some other accessories that my hair loves from them are their silk sleep caps and their silk scrunchies. I often use these together when I want to maintain my waves overnight. I'll start by tying my hair up very loosely at the top of my head. This is usually referred to as a pineapple style in the curly and wavy hair community and then cover it with the silk cap. So this reduces the amount of hair I'm actually sleeping on so I don't flatten out my waves. I also love using the scrunchies just during the day to tie my hair back. The elastic in them is actually strong enough to hold up my thick hair without slipping out, but because of the silk material, they're easy to pull out without causing tangles or frizz. And the scrunchie set that I got came with four different scrunchie looks, but they all have the same strong elastic inside. So the silk items are definitely the splurgiest products I'll be talking about in this video, but I do have a 15% off coupon code that will work on the entire site. That and links to everything I mentioned will be in the description below. But now let's talk about how I get these waves that are worthy of silk protection. <laughs> So I recently did a video all about my scalp care routine where I talked about the products I'm using in the shower. So I'm not gonna get super deep into that, but I did wanna give another shout out to my hair mask slash deep conditioner. This is the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Hair Mask. This is great for curly or wavy hair because it's both sulfate free and silicone free. It intensely hydrates your hair without weighing it down. And that's really been my criteria in terms of choosing what I use in shower for my waves moisturizing, silicone free, and sulfate free. However, I do think most of the magic is happening in my post shower styling routine. So first off, I have stopped towel drying my hair before applying my styling products. I might wring it out a little bit just so I'm not flooding my bathroom, but my hair is pretty sopping wet when I'm applying my product. So the first product that I apply is a spray leave-in conditioner. The one that I've been using is from the brand Flawless by Gabrielle Union. It is $9.99 on Amazon or at Sally Beauty. I focus this mostly on my roots because it's very lightweight and my other heavier products will cover the midsection and ends of my hair. Next, I move on to a curl cream. Now I've been experimenting with a few, but one that I really like from the drugstore, again, from Maui Moisture, this is their Curl Quench and Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie. It's only $8.99, super moisturizing, and it makes my waves really shiny and soft. So to apply this and my other hairstyling products, I do flip my hair upside down and I'm typically leaning into my tub so that way any dripping is not falling on the floor. So I'll go ahead and massage this into my hair with flat hands. What this does is maintain the waves that have started to form and helps flatten out frizz. A lot of people call this technique praying hands. And once I feel like I've gotten all my hair, I will start to scrunch a bit. And again, this is where leaning over a tub or sink comes in very handy because as I scrunch my hair, a little bit of water tends to get squeezed out. And then I just use one more product to finish off the look. Now, depending on what look I'm going for, 
for, I will either choose to finish with a mousse or a gel. So the mousse that I really like, it's only $14.99 at Target. It's called the Dew Mousse Def Texture Foam. It's really lightweight, but it does help lock in my wave definition with a gentle hold. And it also has silk protein in it to help strengthen your hair as you wear it. So this is definitely what I'm using most as my go-to styler. However, when I want something that's just a little bit more heavy duty, or I want to really define my curls and maybe I want to finger curl them, then I will go ahead and use a gel. So this is the only like higher end product that I'm using on my hair and it's on an occasional basis. This is the Buclem Curl Defining Gel. It's a silicone free gel that has more of a thin serum consistency. So it's not sticky at all. It's not thick. It runs through the hair really easily and it doesn't flake at all. It has a medium hold that you can actually brush out and contains coconut oil, argan oil, and aloe vera. So it's a very moisturizing formula that is 99% naturally derived. It's alcohol free and vegan. You can find this on Amazon for $23. So it's a little bit pricier than the other products that I'm using. But again, this is more of an occasional product product for me. But for today's results, I did use the mousse. So similarly to the curl smoothie, I will run this mousse over my hair using my palms and then scrunch focusing on the mids and ends. Next, I gather my hair in a microfiber turban and leave it alone for as long as I can to let it absorb excess moisture. At least 30 minutes and I find this a convenient time to do my makeup or anything else in my routine that I need to get done. So after 30 minutes, I will remove the turban and at this point, my hair does feel more towel dried. It has absorbed a lot of that water. And I will either let it air dry from here or I will move on to blow drying it with a diffuser. Air drying definitely cuts down on frizz, but my hair is very thick. I have a lot of it. So air drying also takes a long time for me. So more often than not, I will be using my blow dryer. So when I do blow dry my hair, something new I've been doing for my wavy hair routine is I will gather my hair in the diffuser attachment before actually turning on the blow dryer and blasting it with heat. And then when I'm done with that section, I will turn the blow dryer off before pulling away the blow dryer and moving on to the next section. And this helps you avoid your hair getting blown around as you move the dryer and again, helps eliminate frizz. So I'll keep at this until my hair is about 80 to 90% dry. It doesn't look wet anymore, but it may feel slightly damp to the touch. And then I let my hair air dry the rest of the way. And the reason I do this is because I feel like it helps my hair retain more of its moisture and hydration and shine versus blow drying it to 100% every time. And this is the final look. I absolutely love the shape this routine has been giving my hair. I know this seems like a very involved and rigorous routine, but in all honesty, it's only three things that I'm really using after I get out of the shower. Plus, and this is the big one, I really only need to do the work once because then I'm maintaining the style with the silk accessories overnight. Now I admit, I am still a beginner when it comes to curl care and wavy hair care. So if you have any recommendations or tips, please by all means share them with me. Also tell me, do you typically work with the natural texture of your hair or are you often styling it completely differently? Tell me in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to Veronica. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where I test a hair tool that went viral on TikTok. Let's see if it really works. I'll see you over there. Bye.